Miles Gaskin sets new franchise record by a running back. Miami Dolphins running back Miles Gaskin was one of the very few bright spots in Sunday's loss to the Buccaneers. After getting the ball just two times in week four, it was very promising to see that the coaches made sure that would not happen again. Gaskin finished the day with 15 total touches, 5 rushing and 10 receiving. Going into this game, everyone knew it would be a hard time to run the ball as the Buccaneers have the top-ranked run defense in the league. Despite having just 5 carries, Gaskin was efficient on those runs and having a total of 25 yards. The Dolphins probably would have used him more in the run game if it wasn't for having to try and play catch-up all day long. The big day for Gaskin came from the air. He had 10 catches for 74 yards and he scored both of the Dolphins' touchdowns as well. Gaskin set a new franchise record by becoming the first running back to have 10 or more catches along with two touchdowns in the same game. He also became the second running back to have more than one receiving touchdown and the fifth running back to have 10 or more catches in the same game. Hopefully this game showed the Dolphins' coaching staff why it is so important to get Gaskin involved more than they have been doing. He is clearly the best running back the Dolphins have. Moving forward, Gaskin should be getting 15 to 20 touches a game between rushing and receiving. He has contributed a lot in the chances that he has had. Dolphins make big move with Tua Tungavailoa. The Miami Dolphins have been struggling for the past month, but they could get a major boost in time for Week 6 with the potential return of starting quarterback Tua Tungavailoa. Tungavailoa has been in the Dolphin injured reserve after suffering from fractured ribs in their Week 2 loss to the Buffalo Bills. Miami has not tasted victory after that, with their lone win coming in Week 1 against the New England Patriots where Tua threw for one touchdown and rushed for another. In a bit of good news for the team, though, Tungavailoa has been officially designated to return to practice from the injured reserve list. Now, there are high hopes he could be ready when they play the Jacksonville Jaguars in London this coming Sunday. For what it's worth, though, Dolphins head coach Brian Flores teased on Monday that Tua Tungavailoa is making good progress in his recovery and could very well be activated against the Jaguars. However, Flores did note that they have to see first how the young quarterback moves and throw the ball before making a decision. He is making a lot of improvement. What we need to see is to see him move around, see him throw the ball, see him on the run. See the deep ball. The one thing we won't see I real and true contact. There will obviously be some pain tolerance he'll need to deal with, Flores said of Tua. It remains to be see what the Dolphins end up doing, but it should be remembered that Miami backup quarterback Jacoby Brissett is currently dealing with a hamstring injury. Tungavailoa's return clearly won't solve all of the problems that currently plague Miami, but he is certainly better suited to run the offense and brings a much higher ceiling to the unit. Brian Flores sees offensive line changes as potential long-term fix. Prior to Sunday's game, Media members began reporting that there would be a shake-up on the Dolphins' offensive line. With Austin Jackson playing poorly at tackle over the past few games, he was moved inside to let rookie Liam Eichenberg play his traditional outside spot. Going against Tampa Bay's defensive front was going to be a challenge without making a change, so the decision to make the move this week was a bold one. The big bodies up front held their own considering the matchup. Jacoby Brissett was sacked three times, but Miles Gaskin ran for five yards per carry on just five attempts. Liam Eichenberg was even ranked as the Dolphins' second-best player in Week 5 by Pro Football Focus. When asked about the idea of this offensive line being the plan going forward during his Monday media availability, head coach Brian Flores confirmed that would likely be the case, yeah, I see this as potentially long-term, Flores said. I think Liam Eichenberg at left and Austin Jackson inside at guard, I think that's something that we'll probably stay with for the foreseeable future. Consistency is sometimes the most important piece on the offensive line. Having different guys move in and out while playing poorly only makes things worse. Flores went on to talk about how the group had a good week of practice, and that they're looking to build on that each week. The idea of building has been discussed often this season, so fans are probably sick of it by now, but this group actually didn't look as bad as they could have on Sunday.